Good morning, Internet. This is Alex da Sudokus, and it is Thursday, the 11th of November, 2021. And we have another New York Times hard Sudoku for us today. Just going to change my gain a little bit because... I tweaked my microphone settings last night, so hopefully I'm loud enough. Anyway, let's go with some New York Times hard Sudoku. Using Snyder notations, and then once we're done, we're going to have a look at today's genuinely accessible Sudoku as well. So at a glance, I can't see anything with the ones, so I'm going to move on to the twos. I have a pair of twos here. I have two, so, oh, no, got two here, actually. I've got another two. Um, just a disclaimer. Got a bit of a headache today. Um, I should have had it starting yesterday afternoon, and it's not really subsided. So, yeah, I'm not feeling great. But we'll persist. We will see if it affects our performance at all. But suffice to say, I am going to blame my headache if I um, struggle with today's New York Times. Um, I've got a pair of sixes over here because this is a pointing pair of sixes, giving me a pair of four and six matching pair, which means there's something going on here. It means there's a pointing pair of fives here. So the fives are down here, fives up there, not really giving me anything. Any more sixes about... Sixes, yes, I have another pair of sixes here, which gives me another pair of sixes. And I think that's the sixes done. Sevens are not inspiring. Eights blocked in these two positions. Hmm, this is a bit worrying. I'm not getting a huge amount of um, action on this puzzle. Got a pointing set of eights there, so that unlocks a pair of eights. And I think that's it. So if nine doesn't come to the rescue, we may struggle a little bit. We had a bit of a tricky one yesterday already. So I was hoping today, I was hoping today's puzzle would be um, on the easier side. Okay, going back to the ones, I notice um, there's now a pointing set of ones. So that gives me a pair of ones up here as well. But I still don't think that's going to give us an opening for this puzzle. So we've done a first pass. We haven't really done a huge amount of pencils. So this worries me a little bit. So two, three, seven, nine. Oh, okay. Right, two, three, seven, nine on this row are locked in these four cells. Actually, this is a triple because of the four, six pair anyway. I missed that. So what is this? This is five, eight, and one. So this is one five and eight as a triple and this is a quadruple is that useful is the quadruple useful it's two three seven and nine i don't think that's particularly useful if i'm completely honest mm. yeah i don't think that's particularly useful so let's have a look at the weak areas first we have a 1, 4, 9, and 5, I believe. So 1, 4 means this is a 5 and 9. This can be a 4. Oh, the headache. Stupid headache. Hmm. 1, 4, and 9 are locked in there, but that's not useful yet. In fact, hang on. Oh, because we've already got a 9 in that box. Yeah, that's not doing anything for us. Um, hmm. one, four, five, nine. So this is no, hold on. This can't be one, four, five, nine because I've got nine there. So what is it actually one, four, five, and eight? Okay, so I've got eight and four, one and five, one, five, five, one, four, five, eight. I don't think there's much to be glimpsed from this. So Another quadruple here. Not really doing anything for us though. This is three, five, one, and nine. One, three, so that's five and nine. 
Not useful. What about here? This is a quadruple as well. This is one, five, seven, and eight. Hmm. Nope, not useful. Three and six can't go there. What else am I missing? I'm missing a five and an eight and a seven. Seven, five, and eight. So this is seven and eight, also not useful. Morning, Aubergine. Oh, you found a naked single. That is wonderful. Do you want a naked single right now? If I have to guess what a naked single is, where would I put it? This is a five and eight, so that's a no go. This doesn't. Is five the weak number? Oh my god, the five is a weak number. How did I miss that? So it's fi if five is weak, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Yep, this is a naked seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Is that the naked single, single that you found? Um, so this is a bit of logic that I use when it comes to weak numbers. But for some reason I forgot that 5 is weak. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't spot it. But basically any numbers that doesn't see a weak number will have to have at least the weak number as a candidate. So that's one additional candidate um, in any of these cells. They all have an additional 5. So... That reduces the probability of being naked single. Therefore, any cells that see the five has an increased probability. And we found it. We found a seven here. So the seven tells me that this is a seven eight matching pair, giving me a two there, which means this is a pair of twos. Okay. Um, and this is now pointing pair of fours. Oops. Gives me a four over here, nine, six, and three, because we had a four there basically, because of pointing fours and these two fours, and that unlocked the three, six, and nine as well. And that leaves me five and something. What are they? Five and eight in these two cells. So these must be one and four. Solved by the four, and just by the way, the pencils are. So the one, ugh, ones are now locked in those two cells. Anything else? How about pair fives here? Because of, because of the pointing fives. So this is a triple of nine, seven, and three, three, seven, and That was a sneeze. So we have our sneeze of the day. Bloop. Bloop. And um, and with that, we've got seven and no, not seven. I've got nine and something here. It's a nine. Oof. It's a nine here, and this must be a five. Okay. And these are five, four, five, four, and nine, which means the nine goes here, and this is four and five which means eight and five are resolved. And that solves the eight and the seven, which means a pair of sevens over here, and these are twos and threes. Okay. So that gives me an X-wing of the threes, which means three is here, two is there. That solves the two and the threes, and a threes. And um, yeah, that's going pretty well. Some more threes to be resolved here. Um, okay, I think we're well on our way, so I feel a bit better. The headache is still there, but we feel a little bit better about today's Sudoku. Um, what are these? Seven and seven and nine. Let's solve them because of nine. So, what does that tell us about the seven? Not enough. And these are sevens and sevens and eights. Also not solvable yet. A bit annoying. But that's okay. Because we've got 5 and 6 obviously in this cell. So. This, oh actually. The 6 solves the 5 and 6 anyway. So the 5's are down here. And what are these? And these are. 7 and 8. Not useful. Not useful at all. Seven and eight, seven and eight. 
So I've got pointing pair of eights there. So we actually know that this is a seven, this is an eight, and this is a seven. And this this is an eight. And these are fives and ones. Let's pencil mark those in. I've also got one here that unlocks another one, five, and eight. Okay, how are we doing? Come on, we must be finishing up now. This is not right. The eight unlocks the eights down here. This is seven or six. Must be a six because of the seven here overseeing the cell. So six and seven are resolved. Um, this is four and four and seven resolved. And a five here unlocking the one and five, unlocking the one. Unlocking the one and five at the top, unlocking the five and four, unlocking the four and six and a four and a six and a nine and a nine. And that's today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. Good morning, Fled. How are you? So with that out of the way, let's do today's genuinely accessible Sudoku. I do apologize, I've got I've got a really bad headache, so I'm not feeling super something, 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 basically. So but let's um let's have a look at today's genuine accessible. Normal sort of cool rules apply additionally digits which are in rotational rotationally symmetric positions about the center of the grid must contain different digits. Okay, so basically that can't be a four. Now, hang on a sec. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because wherever, hmm, hold on. What about these two numbers? Can they be the same? With rotationally symmetric, rotation, Rotational symmetry means it can be 90 degrees, can't it? Wait, this cell would be there. So I'm being balmy here. And I can't. They'll see each other anyway. Rotational symmetry. So this cell will become there. So it can see that anyway. But No, hold on. It will see that one. But these two, they won't see, but they're rotationally symmetrical. Okay, I think, I'm, I think I understand the rule. So usually we start with looking at these one, two, three, four. Mm, two, three, five, six. Mm. Is there some sort of like pattern? I can see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, that's not very useful. But it makes me think there's something, something here. One, two, three, four, six, and nine. I've got seven. Six, seven, and nine. So it's five or eight there. So rotational symmetry. Where can it not go? Can it not be something specific? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, maybe we should start with scanning the grid first. I just saw four. Um, hmm. Six. Six is resolved here, so I've got a pair of sixes there. Pair of sixes there. Four. Any more fours? Pair of fours here. Fives are now pointed. Okay. Oh, this is a two because of these twos. So this is now a triple of one, nine, and eight. It's so a one-eight pair then, which means this is a nine. So maybe this is going to be super accessible because we can already punch in a lot of numbers. Um, twos are there, so hmm, three. God, I hate headaches. Why is headaches a thing? What does headache contribute towards our defense system? 
I just don't understand it. Um, this is three seven and three six. No, three. Oh, one three and seven. Okay, got seven down here, so that must be a seven. So should we look at some sevens? Four and seven are there. Seven seven seven. Headache means you two. No, it doesn't. Because I. If headache is basically a brain tumor, it's not like we can do anything about it. In like nature, in nature we can't. It's like, hey, we, you're gonna die of a brain tumor, so we'll make you miserable for the rest of your life. Is it so that we don't reproduce? It's like I've got headache, so I'm not gonna reproduce. Is that what it's about? I I don't I just don't understand the purpose of headaches. You may want to hydrate if you have it. It's not hydrating that's the issue. I have been hydrating. I even like after sleeping I didn't um the headache didn't go away. It's a very specific type of headache. Because I think um yeah, when I get um dehydration headache, they are quite specific, but I know I know hydration is the um go to thing to like combat headaches, but this is unfortunately not one of those, basically. So, but I appreciate, I appreciate the the thought, because I know I do the same thing. Oh, headache! Have you have you had enough water? Are you hydrated enough? And yeah, I I say that as well. So, um, okay, let's. Hmm. Can we can we actually do more? Yes, we can. We can put a five in there. Five, six, seven. I think we're running out of things to put in. Eight. This is six, eight, and nine, isn't it? It's not useful. I think we're going to have to start to use the rotational rule. So, um, how can we use rotational rules? to rule out so these would match those numbers so how about a five five will be here and here so this can't be a five that means that's a five yeah okay and that five tells me this is a five as well i've got some fives down here so it can't be here because i've got five there so this is a pair of fives that forms an x-wing which means this is a five okay okay Interesting. So, what more? What more do we do? Um, four. Four can't go there. Or there. Or there. It's not useful. Fuck you, four. <laughs> Being not useful at all. That one would be in these cells. Is that useful? I don't think that's useful. Twos. We don't have enough restrictions to really do anything with these. So mm. my headaches usually tell me get the fuck off the lights. <laughs> and right now I'm being like hit by my ring light. So <laughs> that tickles me a little bit. It tickles me a little bit. So three can't go. Ah, this three tells me that like, three can't go there. So it's a pointing pair of threes. So there we go. We've got something. Not a lot. It's not a lot, but it's honest work. That three, where does it go? Here. Here. Oh my god. It should not be this tricky to figure out the rotation of symmetry. So these can't be threes. I don't think this is useful at all. So I'm gonna move on to the fours. Pointing pair of fours there, by the way. But also, this four tells me the four can't go there. So, yay, we've done some fours. I don't know if things changed. Is it because I've got a three now? Probably. Though, no, I don't know. The four have been resolved for a while by the look of it. Okay, so we've got some fours here and some fours here. So, have we got some rotational symmetries that blocks them? Um, this four tells me that can't be a four, but that's already the case. Part of me feel like I should just pencil mark in everything. 
So this four tells me that can't be a four. There we go. That's useful, isn't it? Um, so any cells here would be rotationally speaking in there and in there and in there. So we haven't got anything to reduce these fours. Okay. I feel like this may be useful. Oh, this six means the six can't go there. There we go. Of all the days, I get one of these puzzles. It's today when I, like, st I'm struggling with, like, looking at things. So that's great. So now we've got three, four, six, triple here. Let's do, this, do the center pencil marking so, so we know. So that means there's a pair of nines there, but the nine can't go here. So we've got nine, pair of nines here. Pair of nines there. Uh, rotational symmetry will take me up there, so not useful. Nine, nine, nine. Any restrictions here? This nine will be locked in here, so that's not useful. Okay, four is useful, still get put. <laughs> oh, sorry, four is, four is useful. Did you say four is useful? I'm sorry. What, what did I say do or matter? I don't know. I'm sorry if I've, if I'm being a butt. This eight, what the hell, this eight will go there. And there, okay. Although it gave you two other fours. You were bullying fours ages ago, was I? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, fours. Um, okay, this can't be a nine because... Of, no, this can't be a nine because of that nine. Can this be a nine? Yes, it can. What about eight? Eight can't go here. So any of these can be an eight except for that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, guys, this can't be a nine, can it? No, this can't be a nine. That can be a nine. So this can be seven or nine. Oh. This is so tedious. Twos and nines are here though. So twos and nine resolved. I have twos down there. That forms an X-wing. Another two. Another pair of twos. Okay. This two tells me that can't be a two. So twos and five are resolved. Oh, God damn it. Okay. So is that all the fives? I feel like all the fives are now placed. Twos. Got two over here. Any more twos? Just these sets, which are rotationally symmetrical. So, um, oh no, have I made an error? Oh shit. It, the force is with you. <laughs> the force is with you. Where, where did I make an error? Five in box three. And nine are rotationally symmetrical. No, five in box three and box nine. No, they can't three. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. So why did I think that two doesn't go there? Because of that two. Hold on. This two will go here. Oh, hang on. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Surely it'll be these two that are rotationally symmetrical. This two, that two. Wait, so that's broken then? Because it can't be either two or fives. Shit. Ah. We've broken it a while ago in that case. They must do. I've been going by 90 degrees rotation of symmetry, so. I think we've buggered it up. See, if it's 180 only, I would think um, they would make that a rule, so I'm just gonna undo a little bit. Oh my God, oh my God. 
Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. This is already broken based on that. Okay, how did I deduce this five? I don't know. Why did I say that can't be a five? Maybe that's where the mistake happened. Holy shit, that happened a while ago. How do we make that deduction? I don't know. I don't know why that can't be a five. Yeah, I think it's a mistake right at the beginning. Okay, anyway, let's get a pointing pair of eights there. Let's just, yeah, let's do some normal Sudokus first. I, I'm not convinced that it's a 180 rule, because if it is, surely they have to say that it's, um, oh, because this is a two. And that's a five, then. Is a six correct? Maybe the six is incorrect. How did I get a six? So this six and that six locks, it does lock a six in there. Oh my God. What? This is confusing. Okay, we've got two and five in place, right? So this has to be one, eight, one, eight and nine. So that's gotta be a nine and these are one and eight which are resolved, which means a pair of ones down here. I'm going to try one more time, just in case I made a different mistake later down the line. Um, these are one, three, and seven, so seven's got to go there, so that's one and three. You're right. We've got a 250. Damn it. In that case, we're going to start over. We hate it. We hate it. So we're going to go by 180. I hate it. Okay, so we've got a four there. And then we got a six. And the fives and twos are pointed because it is two five pair, leaving me with one eight and nine. So these are still valid. This eight and that eight locks a pointing pair of eight. So eight and one are resolved leaving with a pair of ones. This seven tells me the seven is there. So this is one in three. Wait, hang on. What about this cell? This has to be a nine. Okay. So that leaves me two and five. And these are sixes and threes. So six and three. And a triple of two, eight and five. Okay, morning Jagger. Yeah, because when I use terminologies like this, symmetrical position about the center of the grid must contain the rotationary symmetric. Because rotational symmetry includes 90 degrees by default. Wait a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I haven't solved the two and the fives. Oh, this can't be a two. So we're going to go by a 180 rule. So that still eliminates this five and gives me a five over there. So that gives me a five down here. Okay. Oh. Fucking headache. <laughs> go a pair of sixes here, but this six eliminates that. Oop. Eliminates. Why can't you undo? Eliminates this six. So it gives me a six over there. So it gives me another set of sixes over here. Pair of sixes here as well. So two sets of sixes. We don't love that. We do not love that. Well, next, uh, this two tells me there has to be a five and two. 
because rotation is 180 symmetry. So now eliminate is that five. Um, this is a five. So these two are fives, rotation or symmetry. So that's a five. They really should have been more explicit about 180 because I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy having to redo this whole puzzle because we didn't understand the 180 rule. Two's, oops, two's are locked in these two cells, so that's a two. Okay. Have to have to you D so thank you, Aubergine. Oh, sorry, my nose is just completely bunked up. I am in agony town. This is not a fun morning with the headache and the snivels. Have a wonderful day at uni as well. Hope it goes well. And um, yeah, just have a wonderful day, Eugene. Wish you all the best. Um, okay, we've got three here, and these are sevens and fours, fours and seven. Okay, any rotation or symmetry here? This seven tells me that can't be a seven. Okay, so four and seven are resolved. What does that do for us? Four, 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 still got a pair of fours there. Four can't go here either, nor there. It's not very useful, but these are fours. Okay. Don't die, please, Kay, thanks. <laughs> Says the person who plays Metroid Dread with the highest probability of death. Granted, they're virtual deaths. Oh. Damn you, headache. Oh my god. I've even taken two power sedimals already. <sighs> also, you used to say paracetamol. And now I say paracetamol. I think because who you hang out with. And what they say influences how you say words. That makes sense, right? Anyway, what are these? One, three, and seven. Three can't go there. Seven can't go here. So that must be a seven because that's a rotation of symmetry. So what does this seven do? It does not spark joy is what it does got a pair of sevens there does not spark joy um is the monitor brightness high it's no different than usual it's the same brightness as usual so i just sometimes get headaches basically i should really like get an mri or something like that to see if i've got some sort of brain tumor going on okay that can't be a three because of rotation of symmetry so we actually have a pointing pair of threes there Another set of threes over there. These threes would not have any rotation or symmetry going on here because they're on the same line anyway. Okay. Do you know why there's no aspirin in the jungle? I literally can't see where this pun goes. So, I don't know, As. Tell me, why? Because the paras... <laughs> eat them all. The paras eat them all. See, a younger me would have struggled so much to understand that. So part of me hate that I get it now. And also how much I, I love it. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie, that is damn good. Um, okay, can we do anything about the nines? Because we are just bumbling around. We're just bumbling around. Sorry, I'm just have this notion that by pressing against my eye, it's going to help with the headache a bit. It hasn't. Um, hmm. Really quite quite stump here. Maybe I maybe I just need to put more pencil markings in. But I just feel a bit weird about that. 
kind of feel I shouldn't. Oh, hang on. This free unlocks this one in three. So that solves the free over here. How did I miss that? Because that's rotation asymmetry. Um, so that unlocks another three. The six and. Oh, hang on. No. That solves a three. Doesn't do anything but a six. Okay. So, the no rotation symmetry with these. Okay. What about a one? Does a one do anything for us? No. I don't see it if it does. So, we're going to move on. Got a pair of fours there. But this four tells me that can't be a four. So, we just solved some more fours. And these are now fours and six. And unique rectangle means these can't be four and six as well. This can't be a two. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that. So we're going to carry on. We're just going to carry on, carry on. Keep on keeping on. That's that's the phrase, isn't it? Sixes. Oh, this is an X-wing. So that solves a six over there. And that's all I have to say about that. This six solves the six up here. So there's something else we can talk about. So the fours and sixes are done. These are nines and eight. Eight and nine. Nothing here helps me. Oh, this nine helps. So eight and nine. This is looking much healthier, I have to say. Seven and eight resolved. Seven and three. Three. And these are ones and nine. Don't love it. Uh, one is here though. So these are nines and two. Twos and nines. Okay. The twos and the nine are in place. So we've got the two here. And this is, I believe, an eight. And that leaves me with one and nine again. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, one and nine there as well. Hate it. Seven, two, eight. Uh, seven and seven and nine. That's good news because that means that's a seven. That's a seven. This is a nine, which solves these nines and ones. Feels like we're honing in now. We're honing in. So get your get your dictionaries out. I think we're ready for some mini crosswords soon. One and two, two and eight, eight and nine. And we have today's genuinely accessible Sudoku. Oh. That was still tricky. That was still hard. That was still quite hard. Oh no. I don't have a soundboard. I should really just have a um, thingy to my voice meter so that my soundboard will always work but i hope you guys find that useful youtubes if you did please leave a like below and if you want me to lie on your couch tomorrow because i've got a headache probably still tomorrow you have to subscribe for that chance to happen you get to bring me water i don't know why you would do that so don't subscribe to me it's my message and um I may still see you tomorrow. Use the search engines. I'll see you later. Have a good day.